Brewers hosting the Cardinals. The Brewers are minus 134 on the money line. The Cardinals are plus 114. The over-under, eight runs. The Cardinals, getting a run and a half on the run line, are minus 188, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 155, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Now, the Brewers' dominance of the Cardinals just continues. Uh, Wilson didn't pitch against the Cardinals either last season or this season. McCullough pitched once against the Brewers this season. Four and two-thirds, five runs, five earned. They lost 12-5, and he struck out five. Head-to-head, -head, the Brewers are on an eight-game winning streak against the Cardinals. They're nine and one against them in their last ten. The home team's on a three-game winning streak. The home team is five and five. The favorites won the last two. The favorite is five and five on the muddy line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been two one-run games in their last ten. The overs hit in the last three games they played. The under is six and four, and the under eight is six, two, and two. Weather will not be a factor in this game because of the roof. The Brewers are 3-2 and two in Wilson's last five starts. He's got an ERA of .6. They've lost his last two starts. The unders hit in his last five. Five and a third, 2.6 hits, .6 earned runs, 4.6 strikeouts. Ah, that includes a game back in 2022, so the stat line isn't completely accurate. His last two starts, he's gone six innings. They've kind of been weaning him back into uh, a pitch count. 57, 75, 91, and then 89. So he's probably about 90 pitches, and then they're going to 86 him out of the game. For the Cardinals, they're 1-9 in, in their last 10. They are on a 7-game losing streak. 12 runs, 8 runs, 13 runs, 8 runs, 5 runs and a loss, 1 run and a loss, 2 runs and a loss, 3 runs and a loss. For the Brewers, 6-4 in their last 10, 3-1 in their last 4, 10 runs, 8 runs, 13 runs, 8 runs, 4 runs and a loss, 7 runs and a win, 11 runs and a win, 5 runs and a win. I'm going to take my shot here again with the car, uh, with the Brewers. Brewers with the money line, Brewers laying the runs on the under. Until the Cardinals prove they can beat them, you got to roll with the hot hand. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.